This question is from the 2022 Mechanical Engineering Paper Set 1, Question number 37. An L-shaped elastic member ABC with slender arms AB and BC of uniform cross-section is clamped at end A and connected to a pin at end C. The pin remains in continuous contact with and is constrained to move in a smooth horizontal slot. The section modulus of the member is same in both the arms. The end C is subjected to a horizontal force P and all the deflections are in the plane of the figure. Given the length AB is 4A and length BC is A, the magnitude and direction of the normal force on the pins from the slot respectively are Option A 3P by 8 and downwards Option B 5P by 8 and upwards Option C P by 4 and downwards or Option D 3P by 4 and upwards Let's find out now in this structure we can see that this load P will have an effect on AB such that there will be an axial force P here that is when we transfer this P to point B uh, axial force will act on AB also there will be a moment resulting from P acting at distance A from B which will be equal to P into A. So if we draw a free body diagram we can see that AB here is going to be subjected to an axial force P along with the moment P into A. Now because of this anti-clockwise moment we can see that AB is going to deflect like this. At point A there is a fixed support so there will be a opposite moment that will resist the effect of this bending moment which will be equal to P into A and of course there will be a equal and opposite axial force P resisting the load P at the support A. But in between there will be deflection. So near to the fixed support, we can see the slope will be zero, but then there will be a deflection. Let's denote this deflection as delta B because this is at point B. Now because this member BC is connected to this fixed support C at the bottom, we can say it will prevent point B from moving upwards. So there should be a equal and opposite deflection downward which will be said to be caused by the support reaction. So let's say a support reaction F is acting like this at point C. So this support reaction which is at point C we can transfer it to point B as well because BC is a rigid member. Magnitude of this force will be F itself when we transfer it to point B. And this force here will be an inline force. So there will be no moment created. And we will have force F in this way acting at point B. This is point A and this is point B. Force F is acting at point B. Because the deflection due to force F or reaction force F should nullify this deflection delta B. It will be in downward direction. So let's say this is the deflected curve due to load F. And this here, this deflection should also be delta B. Delta B can be written as Deflection due to this moment P into A, which will be ML square by 2EI, where M will be P into A. This is a standard result which you should remember. If there is a bending moment acting at free end of a cantilever, this will be the deflection value at the free end. So substituting P into A here, we will get this will be equal to P into A L square by 2EI. Delta B can also be written as Deflection due to force F. So this will be downward and therefore we can write it as minus FL cube by 3EI. This is also a standard result which you should remember. So when we equate equation 1 and equation 2 because both are deflections at point B and both should be equal to each other in order to keep the structure in equilibrium. So if we write P into A L square by 2EI is equal to minus FL cube by 3EI. We can say L square and this L cube on this side will give us L on the right hand side. EI and EI on both sides can be cancelled out. That is multiplying both sides with EI. We are being left with P into A by 2 will be equal to minus F into L by 3. Now L here which is the length of AB is given to be 4A. So we can write this as P into A by 2 is equal to minus F into 4A by 3. 
we need to find out f in terms of p. So rearranging this, we will get f will be equal to minus 3 by 8 into p. So this negative sign indicates that the force will be downwards and the magnitude of this force is 3 by 8 p. Let's go back and mark this option. So answer here is option A, which is 3p by 8 is the value of the normal force on the p from the slot, which will act downwards. To learn more about deflection of beams and to learn about the derivation of those standard results, which we have used in this solution, you can refer to the NPTEL video. Lecture 30, deflection of beams 1. It's from the course Strength of Materials. The course is taught by Professor S.K. Bhattacharya. He is from Department of Civil Engineering of IIT Kharagpur. I hope this solution helps you clear your doubt. Thank you.